When an antler is in its growth phase, it's known as deer antler velvet. The name comes from its interesting appearance. The outermost layer of skin covering a growing antler is hair-like in appearance and texture, resembling velvet fabric. Deer antler velvet is soft and spongy to the touch. Unlike horns, which are keratinized tissue, antlers are organs. They have blood vessels, nerves, skin, cartilage, and bone, a rich history. Deer antler velvet is also commonly referred to as deer velvet, deer velvet antler, and lu rong in traditional Chinese medicine. Deer antler velvet has been consumed by humans for thousands of years. As an adaptogen, it restores homeostasis to an unbalanced body by helping where it's needed. The ingredient has an effect on many systems of the body given its complex chemical composition. The active components in deer antler velvet are mostly precursors that are required by the body to process substances that maintain its health and well-being. Deer antler velvet can be taken as a dietary supplement for general health or used therapeutically to treat specific conditions. What makes deer antler velvet special? Antler growth is one of the fastest known types of tissue tissue growth in mammals, and the only example of an organ that's shed and regrown every year. Male deer grow antlers primarily for mating purposes to battle other males for mating rights. They grow their first set of antlers when they hit puberty at approximately one year of age. Growth of antlers typically begins in spring, as testosterone levels increase in response to increasing daylight. A deer's antlers can grow at a rate of a quarter inch per day. In just four months, deer antlers are fully developed. Towards the middle of summer, the antlers reach their full size and begin to calcify. By late summer, when testosterone levels are at their peak, the blood vessels shut down around the base of the antlers and the antlers harden into bone. Hard antlers remain on the deer through the peak until late fall or early winter. As the deer's testosterone levels drop off, the antlers are shed. Antlers are grown and shed every year. Deer antlers require a great deal of nutrients and energy to grow. Only the healthiest deer can grow large antlers. Hard antlers are comprised mostly of calcium and phosphorus. Because deer do not consume much calcium as part of their diet, and the calcium in the antlers is produced by chemical reactions in their bodies, which draws heavily on the animal's mineral reserves. Reserves. Therefore, the size of antlers is an external demonstration of a deer's fitness. Common Misconceptions Deer antler velvet is commonly described as the fuzzy layer of skin on a growing antler. This is inaccurate. Deer antler velvet refers to the entire growing antler, not the outer covering. When used as a supplement, the outer covering is removed before processing and does not make its way into deer antler velvet products in any shape or form. However, some companies erroneously state that their products are made from the outer covering of antlers. This glaring mistake demonstrates these companies know nothing about deer antler velvet, what it is, how it's collected, and how it's processed. They simply put the label on a bottle but have no real interest in selling a quality product. Their representatives have likely never stepped foot on a deer farm, nor do they know how to evaluate the raw material or finished good. At Antler Farms, we create the highest quality deer antler velvet products. We only use the best, highest yielding components and process them using methods and systems designed to maintain and increase their potency. Our innovative techniques are more labor intensive, more time consuming, and more expensive than conventional methods, but they are required to produce supplements that are vastly superior to any other products on the market. That's why we're the number one brand for deer antler velvet supplements, and why thousands of customers depend on our products for sports, health, and fitness.